Hey guys, welcome back to day number 41 of the 50 days Trigo Identities Challenge. We'll start off with the more complicated side of the equation, which is the left hand side. You realize that the angles are in terms of 2x and x. So we can employ the double angle formula to convert all these double angles into a single angle. Starting off with the left hand side, we'll have 1 over sine 2x minus cosine 2x over sine 2x plus 1 over cosine x. Simplifying by combining the denominators, we will have 1 minus cosine 2x over sine 2x. Now, in the last term, we will multiply 2 sine x on the numerator and the denominator so that the denominator can resemble sine 2x, which is on the first term. So we'll have 2 sine x over 2 sine x cosine x. Now, combining all the fractions together, we will have 1 minus, open a bracket, let us choose 1 minus 2 sine square x from the cosine double angle formula because we can try to convert them into a sine x so that we can simplify the terms, plus 2 sine x over 2 sine x cosine x. Now, this is because sine 2x is 2 sine x cosine x. Simplifying the terms, we will then have 2 sine square x plus 2 sine x over 2 sine x cosine x. By factorizing out 2 sine x in the numerator, we will have 2 sine x, open bracket, sine x plus 1, close the bracket. Cancelling out similar terms on the numerator and the denominator, which is 2 sine x, we will then have sine x over cosine x, which gives us tangent x plus 1 over cosine x which is secant x. Now this gives us the right hand side of the equation. 